All right, we are back with the fifth and final game of of the weekend league. Uh, currently, currently two and two going into the final round. Uh, that misplay against Hammer, uh, kind of a bit unfortunate, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get it back in this one. And our hand here has three bridges uh, and a tutor pending, but no way of casting it early. Uh, I don't think this is a hand we can keep in any in any capacity. Kind of both colorless lands early and nothing to turn on. The spire so we elect a mulligan and the second hand kind of has a bit of disruption removal and then a tutor but i still don't think it's very good we still need three pieces for the lock tutor can grab one uh, but we need another two uh, duress doesn't even hit everything like they're very early aggressive starts um, duress might not even rip what we need it to so overall i just think this hand is is too clunky so we elect to go down to five uh, and this is pretty much our dream five here. Uh, we're going to bin the two duresses, uh, put them back. We have Saga, Lantern, Shredder, Thoughtseize. Uh, a good level of of disruption here. And so we get, get rid of the two duresses. And then we're going to start off on Thoughtseize. Uh, just have good information. And then next turn we can play Lantern and Shredder. Uh, here it looks like Yogmoth. Definitely uh, a weirder Yogmoth draw. And I like to take Blood Artist here and then be able to needle the Saga, or sorry, with the Saga, get a needle for Cauldron. Um, you could take one Cauldron here, but then that leaves them with a second that you need to find an answer to at some point anyway. And so I think Blood Artist is just the, the best card here. And as they go, they draw into a Halfling. Um, another reason to take the artist is that if we only leave them with cauldron and then establish the lock next turn We'd probably be able to keep them off creatures for most of the game And we draw a profane tutor, but I elect to set up the lock here as I do want to really hit that uh, That third land I think is very very important. You could suspend the tutor here Maybe if I was playing cursed totem main, I would be more likely to do that uh, but with all the like, cursed totems in the sideboard, I like not to not to suspend it here. I also think this is a game where we can get there with constructs because they don't have a lot of their early creatures. Uh, so they run out one of their soul cauldrons, um, uh, obviously what they're going to do here. And then we do elect to mill a profane tutor as we, we really want the third, third land. Um, here uh, so we do find it and I think we can make constructs you know Yogmoth with only like one creature on the battlefield is actually not not too scary they don't have any of their undying pieces so they're just like sacking a halfling once which sure can draw them one card but um, we're not as worried about that as we would be if they had a, a quite the large board uh, and they do run out Takanuma uh, which is good good for us as they won't, aren't going to be able to use it to get something back later and so I think here, at this point, we are kind of in construct mindset where we can make pretty pretty large constructs, uh, which we do. And we uh, we like to go get a needle on Yogmoth here. Our original plan was needle on Cauldron, but if we needle Yogmoth, it kind of forces a chump block and then them to activate Cauldron to get the, the Yogmoth ability. And with no creature on top, um, it, we're definitely definitely in good shape. Importantly, Yogmoth says sacrifice another creature. So if they chump with Yogmoth and put the ability on the halfling, it can't sacrifice it itself to draw. And so here we're just going to start getting aggressive. Uh, obviously, we're going to be able to grow our constructs uh, bigger than any of their creatures with just a, a cauldron to pump them. Uh, and then they do go for the uh, chumping with Yogmoth line. Here, um, but I think we're in a very we're in a very commanding position. Next turn, obviously, we're going to make two six sixes and suspend the tutor. Um, like we can mill, we can mill the wall of roots and just you know they they have one chump blocker. Yogmoth needs a critical mass of creatures in order to get going. Uh, so we're lucky enough to steal game one from Yogmoth here. Usually, I find Yogmoth is not a very favorable matchup as they kind of are able to attack both on the combo angle and on the kind of aggressive creature angle. I think we're, we're now playing Cursed Totem in the sideboard so we can see if it helps. Uh, but they do have a lot of hate for our deck, uh, but hopefully we can run well in either game two or three. 
Yawgmoth is actually one of the decks where I elect to do the most sideboarding against. I think there's there are a lot of cards in the board that I really want for them. The first are a couple of Cursed Totems, then we have our Hushbringers, uh, Stone of Eric. I brought in one Surgical, uh, just cut it. I elected to cut Ghoul Caller's Bell. I think they have enough, like between Cauldron and their, their graveyard stuff, that I just want Pixis and needed to find some cuts. Uh, trimming a Bobble. Uh, Nihil Spellbomb, I think, is a bit slower than some of our other more effective graveyard hate we're bringing in. Uh, cut some pendings and one bridge. Honestly, it's pretty hard to find cuts against this deck. We have a lot, a lot that we want to bring in. So, def this definitely could be could be slightly off, but I think I was was happy with how we boarded. And we open a no lander, obviously easy mulligan. Uh, our six again, no no lands. Uh, hand would be great with like one or two. Maybe swap out the pending and bridge for lands, but no luck. So we got to go down to five, and I like to keep this hand here. I really like Curse Totem. Pending can hit something. We have a tutor. We just need a second land, and I don't think it's worth it to mulligan down to four. Um, in my experience with Lantern, our four card hands are rarely functional. Uh, you have to get draw extremely well, and I don't think it's worth worth risking that when we have a playable hand here, provided we can draw a second land. And so we uh, keep keep the totem, everything. Uh, we want the duress. A lot of their hand, a lot of their answers to our deck will be like Force of Vigor cards like that. And so we elect to run out a needle and Besaju here. Uh, I think we get uh, like if we run out the Codex Shredder, we don't really want anything getting Besaju'd. We have the Cursed Totem to shut off their creatures. So really, the needle is just kind of an answer for uh, Besaju, which could answer Cursed Totem when something like Haywire Might can't. And here they just run out of Wall of Roots, uh, start getting in uh, normal Yawgmoth stuff, and we miss our second land drop, uh, so we're definitely going to be behind here. Um, definitely not not in a good spot. Uh, we kind of have maybe a turn to draw out of it, but it's going to be going to be harder. Uh, they play a Yawgmoth, and we do we do find a second land. Definitely a turn too slow. I think if we if we play this, the Saga, get it down on turn 2, and have the Totem, uh, it turns off their Delighted Halfling, their Wall of Roots, they don't get Yawgmoth here. Uh, you know, we, we're definitely like a turn a turn behind here. And so they do play a Besaju, uh, good good name with Pithing Needle, as we see they did, they did have it. And they Cord here for 3, and they find a Rex Sage, obviously some hate they can have, one of the, the card I like Hushbringer for. Um, and yeah, we just go from there. Uh, we play a elect to duress. We take a soul cauldron. They just have one card in hand. We're kind of trying not to get blown out by something like force of vigor. Um, but obviously Yawgmoth's going to be able to draw a lot of cards here. Um, so you, again, kind of unfortunate that we're almost like one turn behind. As if we had that cursed totem on two, we can then duress on three, take that that cord. Saga's coming off a turn earlier, and I think we're we're in much better shape. Um, but they're they're going to draw a bunch of cards here, and at this point, you know, with an undying creature, they're able to draw a lot. Obviously, they stop drawing, which makes us think they have some some answer as they get in, and we're kind of forced to play out bridge here, as uh, we're going to be sacrificing the um, the bridge. I think with um, with stone out, we want to get lantern here because they just have so many answers. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't doesn't end up mattering as they have the force of vigor that they they drew, taking out our stone and bridge. And from this point, uh, like we have to go, they were, we're dead on board. Like they have they have six. We're we're dead in two attacks. Uh, we won't get we won't get two draws. So here, uh, you know, they they cord for two. That again gives them the combo. Uh, we're dead on board anyway. So kind of unfortunate that we weren't able to find that second land, but hopefully game three treats us a bit better. All right, as we get into game three here, uh, again we open a one lander, but I think this has kind of all the all the cards we really want in this matchup. Maybe it's a bit risky, um, but I think it's worth worth keeping. At least we can turn to lock to help us draw 
draw more lands. So we are going to run out uh, like Shredder and uh, we run out Shredder first because of the presence of Surgical in hand. So and then we'll play Lantern on two in order to filter our own our own draws for hopefully a second land. Again, we don't find it, uh, but the Curse Totem on top uh, is a nice nice card to have. And we elect to Surgical Force here. Just it's kind of their cleanest answer to what we have going on. I think it's it makes sense when we have the Needle and the Totem, as a lot of their answers don't hit Totem, although they are are somewhat relying. We see Besaju, Rex Sage, and Haywire Might. Uh, cards like Grist, um, kind of your standard Shieldred in hand is definitely definitely going to be a problem for us. So we'll, we're going to have to find an answer to it at some point, hopefully with uh, with Profane Tutor. Um, so we we take the forces, and at this point, uh, you know we're definitely definitely behind. Um, uh, during our upkeep, we're going to have to mill and really hope that there is a land under Bobble. Uh, unfortunately, there's not. So I think from this point, we're just like pretty, pretty hard to come back from this. Just the the lack of lands. Even drawing the second one here, like they're able to just play Shieldred, and we're not really able to find an answer to it in time. Like we have to. From here, I'll just kind of skip through it, but with Shieldred, we have to find a bridge to stop it from attacking and a uh, like uh, pending with four lands on the battlefield. Um, yeah, there's there's like nothing nothing we can draw here that's going to get rid of Shieldred, especially because Cookbook we take out for this matchup, and I think it's still correct to take Cookbook out. Uh, it's generally not needed. We did see like Shieldred was like a one of, so kind of unfortunate that they had it, and with Cord. Obviously, they just grab a Geist as their, you know, lethal next turn. Um, so kind of a couple of unfortunate one-landers. I think the one-landers can work. Uh, they're definitely riskier, though. Game two on the Moldo 5, just unfortunate that that's what we're forced to keep. And this game, I think the 7 was fine. I would keep it again. A bit, maybe a bit harder uh, when you're on the play. But, yeah, like, just the, the risk of one-landers. Uh, it happens overall for the league. Still pretty happy with Profane Tutor. Going to keep keep testing it, and we'll start kind of as I test it more, kind of putting together more solid sideboard plans. Uh, probably updating sideboard guide for for this version. And if you want a sideboard guide for the Abzan version, I have that in available in the Lantern Discord. And yeah, we'll we'll probably do one on on this version too. Uh, anyway, hope you hope you enjoyed, and probably do a couple more leagues either today or or tomorrow, and then we'll we'll get them up soon. So keep uh, keep lanterning.